Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about stepper motors. And this one we're going to use today is the 28BYJ-48. It is a 5 volt DC stepper motor. And it is what's called the reluctance type motor. It's a two phase motor. And it's pretty simple to operate. You can see it has five connections here. And we're going to be using it with this little motor controller board here, which has the ULN 2003 motor driver board, a header that our stepper motor plugs directly into, our power input, and our microcontroller inputs here, the IN1, IN2, IN3, and IN4. And this is pretty much all there is to it. You've got four resistors. You've got a little capacitor in there for smoothing. You've got the chip and you've got four LEDs to show the state. So let's go take a look at the uh, data sheets for these. So here is the data sheet for our particular stepper motor we're using, which is the 28BYJ48-12-300-001. And you can see it's 35 millimeters wide, 35 millimeters high, 19 millimeters deep. And this is a two phase motor, phase one, phase two. And you can see here some of the interesting things, temperature rise, insulation and all that. But here are our motor specifications. It is rated 12 volt DC, two phase, 300 ohms per phase with a gear reduction of 1 to 64 and a step angle of 5.625 degrees giving us 4096 steps per full rotation. Now our driver board is this ULN 2003. So it, you see it is a high current Darlington transistor array. It has seven pairs of NPN Darlington transistors. It's rated 500 milliamps collector current. The outputs are at 50 volts. And there's a little more info for you there. And let's take a look at the board we're using. Okay, here's our driver board. You see it has the port here where our stepper motor plugs in. And then we have these LEDs that tell us which state the motor is in. We have some resistors here. We have a jumper that turns the motor on or off. And we have our power supply, 5 to 12 volt DC. And our connection here, in one in 2 in 3 and in 4 so all pretty simple. All right, you guys can see how I've got everything hooked up here. We have a nano here on the end. And our stepper motor is hooked up through pins 8, 9, 10, and 11 in the order of IN1, IN2, IN3, IN4. We have uh, 5 volts coming from the bench power supply going over here to the power in. And we have our stepper motor with a little piece of tape there to indicate its movement plugged into the header. And that's really all there is to it. This is a, a pretty simple hookup. Not much to worry about. So let's go take a look at the code and then we'll come back and see it in action. Okay, guys, here is the code that we are using for our test. And this is the Cheap Stepper Simple code. And it is from the Cheap Stepper Arduino Library by Tyler Henry. And basically, all this is going to do is make one rotation clockwise and one rotation counterclockwise. So the first thing, you know, is, of course, we need to include the library, which is called a cheapstepper.h. And then we're going to declare the stepper, called the cheap stepper library, and then what we're going to call the stepper, which is stepper. 
And if you don't put anything after it, it's going to go with these defaults here, pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. However, let's say you have more than one stepper motor. You could say, you know, stepper 1. And then you would just put the pins in here like this. And that would be cheap stepper 1. And then we go with our next one. And it would be something like, you see, something like that. And that would give us as many pins as we need for as many stepper motors as we need. But in our example here, we're just going to use the default, which is stepper. Then we're just going to create a Boolean variable to remember whether we're going clockwise or counterclockwise. And we're going to create a for loop with 4,096 steps. And then we're going to move clockwise. Step or step. Move clockwise. Now we can also say stepper dot step clockwise function. Or stepper dot step counterclockwise function. Whichever one of those is easier for you. Then we can find our current step with the function stepper dot get step and find out if it's divisible by 64 and if it is we just print it out then it reverses directions and that's pretty simple for this code and this is a really cool easy library to use you include the library you set up your steppers and then you can tell it move clockwise or move counterclockwise as many steps as you want. Let's right, check so it out. The code and you know that the motor should make a single rotation clockwise. Wait a second and make a single rotation counterclockwise. And there it is. Pretty easy pretty simple. If you look here you can see the uh, LEDs showing which phase is currently activated and you can see the Arduino outputting uh, the step position to the serial monitor. Now if we wanted to add to this another stepper motor we can just add on another board another motor, four more wires to plug it into the Arduino and declare it there as you know stepper two or stepper one or whatever we like and the pins we're going to use since we're using eight nine ten and eleven we can go two three four five and voila we got two stepper motors running so that's a pretty basic introduction to stepper motors as to what kind of things we could use them for we'll talk about that in the future so if you like this, please give me the thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. If you missed the video on the power supply review, which also has our giveaway, I'm going to link to it and you should check it out because we're giving away a bench power supply on Memorial Day 2017. All right. Check you guys out later. Bye.